Okay, guys, so today I'm going to talk about um, volume of triangular prisms just so we can make sure we have everything we need for that. Um, not super tough. We'll figure it out together. First, I want to just um, go over what are prisms in general. So prisms are any three-dimensional shape that uh, in, which the, in which that particular shape, whatever it might be, which we call the base, is stacked on top of itself. Okay? So in this example, that base here was a rectangle and then it's stacked on top of itself in layers, went over this in the last video. So you would take the base, which is 10 times three, which is 30 square inches, and the height here is four. So we'd multiply that by four, and we would get 120 square inches. Take whatever the base is, find that area, and then multiply it by the height. Not too crazy. Now, I alluded to last time that there are different types of prisms. There's triangular prisms, like this guy. There's circular prisms, like this guy, better known as a cylinder. We can find the volume of any of these by just keeping that same formula, that volume equals base times height for prisms. Now, this only applies to prisms. Base times height. So, the base depends on what the shape it is. In this, in this shape, this was a rectangular base. In the one we're going to talk about today, triangular prisms, it is a triangle base that's stacked on top of itself a bunch of times. Hopefully we'll talk about this one later, but the circular prism is just circles stacked on top of itself. Kind of like a canned good, like a canned can, like, like a can of cranberry, that's a tongue twister. And then the height is however many of those bases are stacked. In this case, there's 15 stacked on top of itself. In this case, there's six stacked on top of itself. We're going to talk about just the triangular prisms today. But just to review rectangular prisms, make sure we're talking about it right, um, we could use a formula, volume equals base times height, to find the base here. That was length times width, which is 5 meters times 3 meters. And so the base is 15 square meters. Then we multiply it by the height, which is 4. So volume equals base times height, 15 times 4, which should give us 60 cubic meters. Again, volume is always in cubic meters. Okay. So um, now for triangular prisms, the main point of today. This base is a triangle. You can see triangular prisms this way, where they're, where the triangle base is on, resting on the ground, and then it's stacked up, and, it's, and you're told how many times it's stacked up here. Again, to find the area of a triangle, which you want to look back at that video, that's whatever the base of the triangle is, small b times the height divided by 2, because it's half a rectangle. So that would be 4 times 3 divided by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6 square meters. That's for the triangle. That's just what's down here. Now, how many times is it stacked up? It's stacked up 6 times. So we take that 6 meters squared and multiply it by 6 meters, which is the height. This is big base, big B base times height. And we get 36 cubic meters, which is the volume. Again, that volume formula was base times height. We get 36 cubic meters for this triangular prism. Now, the, the triangular prism could also look like this, where you have a triangle on its where you're trying a prism on its side, and the base is facing you, and it's also there's also another one that's mirroring it in the back, like so. So the base hasn't changed. The base is still a triangle. I'm going to find the area of that triangle by doing small b base times small h height divided by two. The small b base here is four. The height, as it's shown right here, is three divided by 2. That's going to be, again, 12 divided by 2. So the area of this triangle is also happening to be 6. Now it's in centimeters squared. Now I take the volume by doing big B base times big H height. The big B base was this whole triangle, which was 6 square centimeters, times the height, which was 15 centimeters. Quick side math. 15 times 6 should be 90 cubic 
centimeters. Done. Now, notice we did not use this 5 or this 5. For the sake of finding volume, those are distractor numbers. They are called the legs of the triangle. They are not useful for volume. They are distractor numbers. We will use them when we find surface area, but for finding volume, they are completely useless. And a lot of people make the mistake of using these legs somehow. They're like, oh, if I see a number, I got to use it. You definitely don't have to use those legs. In fact, it will do you more harm than good. The only things we used here were the base of the triangle, little b, which was 4. We used the little h, height of the triangle, which was 3. And we used the big height of the entire prism, which was 15. Because volume was base times height, and the base was the triangle. Height was still 15. Hope that helped. Um, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.